Now we're going to do some speed ramping in Final Cut Pro. The speed ramping effect is accomplished by providing non-constant speed. Speed ramping is easy to do in Twixter by keyframing values using one of these two methods, either by frame number or speed percentage. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an example of each method. Let's start with the frame number method. This method is more similar to the Final Cut Pro speed tool. We are going to use this yacht sailing and turkey footage. This footage is HDV 1920 by 1080 and 23.976 frames per second. We're going to drag the source material to the timeline of the new sequence I just made called speed ramp frame. And we're going to keep this footage the same duration so we don't need to create an interim sequence. We just add Twixter. If we hit return and go to the filter tab in the viewer, we see the filter parameters. We can leave the display on source this time so you can find frame numbers in the original pre-speed ramp timing. Now in our output control, let's look at the time remap mode. We're going to choose frame number in this example. We'll see an example using the speed option in a minute. With the frame number control, we can keyframe the frame number parameter as follows. I'm going to go to frame 0 of the source. Twixter considers the first frame to be 0, so I will enter frame 0 in the frame number dialog box. This causes Twixter to output the first frame of the source clip at the first frame of the output. A keyframe is set as we enter the number. I'm going to park the playhead at the timecode 101 because I want this corresponding frame to end up at 1 second 20 frames. Since my display is set to show me the source, I'm able to see the frame that I want to remap. If I want to know what frames 1 second 1 frame converts to in timecode, I can simply go to the timecode display and right mouse click and select frame number. Now I can see that the corresponding frame number to 101 is frame 25. You can now go back to timecode or work in frames display within Final Cut Pro. It's your choice. But to move the source frame in Twixter, you'll need to know its exact frame number. I move the playhead to 120 now because this is the timecode that I want to remap frame 25 to. Now I enter 25 in the dialog box to create a keyframe at 120. We've now set up Twixter to play frame 0 through 25 to 0 through 1 second 20 frames. Now I go to timecode 0 seconds 10 frames because I want this frame to be remapped to 2 seconds 15 frames. Switching back to frames, I can see that that is frame 10. I can now go back to timecode and I move the playhead to 215 and enter 10 in the dialog box to create a keyframe at 2 seconds 15 frames because I want frame 10 to be remapped to the timecode 2 seconds 15 frames. The keyframes I have set will now play the original footage of 25 frames to frame 10 between 1 second 20 frames and 2 seconds 15 frames. Note that this will make the footage play backwards. Then we go to the end and set a keyframe at 120, which will place the last frame of the source at the last frame of the time remapped version. This will actually be a slowdown, but the entire duration will still be the same despite any speed changes we've made because the first frame is still at zero and the last frame is still at five seconds or 120 frames. We can also alter the animation curves for these keyframes. We can easily change the interpolation between frames by selecting the keyframe itself and then right mouse clicking to choose smooth and then we have Bezier for smoother interpolation. Now we need to set the display mode back to Twixtured output before rendering so that we can see the time remapped footage. We can render the sequence and play back the result. So this is how you do a speed ramp in Twixter using the frame number method in Final Cut Pro. Now let's look at an example using the speed method. This method works differently than Final Cut Pro's speed tool. 
Something that Twixter does that Final Cut Pro can't do is animate the speed percentages by simply typing in speed change keyframes. Let's take a look at how this is done. We will go to the sequence called Speed Ramp Speed. We're going to use the same yacht footage. This sequence is 5 seconds long. We're going to add Twixter. We can park our playhead at 0, select the footage, and hit return to go to the filter tab in the viewer. Now we can make adjustments to the filter parameters. This time we're going to leave our output on Twixter to output. We will leave the rest of the settings at default and just go to the time remap mode. We're going to select speed this time. Since our playhead is at zero, we can go to the speed percentage dialog box and type 100. This will tell Twixter that at frame zero we want our sequence to play back at 100%. Now let's park the playhead at one second. We can enter 100 in the dialog box, and now from 0 to 1 second, our clip will play back at its original speed. Now we can park the playhead at 2 seconds. We can enter 200 in the dialog box, and this tells Twixter that from 1 second to 2 seconds, we want our sequence to play back starting at 100% and increasing to 200%. Now let's park the playhead at 3 seconds. We can enter 10 in the dialog box, and this tells Twixter that from 2 seconds to 3 seconds, we want our sequence to start at 200% and decrease to 10%. That's really going to slow down. We can now park our playhead at the end of the sequence at 5 seconds. In the dialog box, we can type 100. Our sequence will now play back from 3 seconds to 5 seconds, starting at 10% and animating back to our original speed of 100%, and the duration will stay the same. Let's render the sequence and take a look at the result. So you see that we have keyframe between different percentages within our sequence using the speed option in Twixter within Final Cut Pro.